I'm going to answer how the coordinates represent solutions. If you look at this graph, what has been plotted in blue here, we'll call this f of x, and it's the line 2x minus 3. Notice it's got a y-intercept of negative 3. It's got a slope of up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. Now, this one in green, we'll call it g of x. And its function or equation is 2 over x. Notice when x is 2, y is 1. When x is 1, y is 2. Now, if you set f of x equal to g of x, um, you could solve this by setting 2x minus 3 equal to 2 over x and do a whole bunch of algebra. But your question is, what do the coordinates use to represent a solution? Uh, and I'll show you. So if you look, the blue line, f of x, and the green line, g of x, intersect right here at 2, 1. Oh, I don't want that. Right here at 2, 1. Those are coordinates. Those are your x and y coordinate. This is x. This is y. And it shows you the solutions because this is a point that is on both graphs. It satisfies f of x because f of 2 equals 1. And it satisfies g of x because g of 2 equals 1, which is why this coordinate point is a solution. Now, if you look, there's a second solution point, And that's right down here. I didn't get it in the right spot. It's right down here. Now, it seems to be negative a half, negative 4. And if we plug in negative a half up here, what is f of negative a half? Well, it's 2 times negative a half minus 3. So this is minus 1 minus 3. And so the y value is negative 4. Now, does it work for this? What is g of negative a half? Well, that's 2 over negative a half. And because we're dividing by a fraction, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. And that gives us negative 4. So g has the point negative 1 half, negative 4. And f has the point negative 1 half, negative 4. So that point down there in red is a solution because it satisfies both equations. So if you have to say in words um, how the ordered pair is a solution, the ordered pair x, y, I should say the order pairs, because in this case, at least there's more than one, um, is where the graphs of f and g intersect. Each x, y is a point that is on both graphs.